Kendall, thank you so much for coming down. How's the recovery going? Not too bad. Physio says the leg will take a few more months to heal before I can start training again. Good news. Very good news, mate. We'll need you as we make that playoff plus and hopefully get the championship. Okay, so it's quarter past now. He's late as usual. Oh, actually, here he is. Dom. Dom, over here, mate. Come take a seat. Right, gentlemen, this issue needs to be sorted now. Coach has phoned me earlier on today and says your attitudes towards each other stinks. If we're going to make a playoff push, I need everyone pulling in the same direction. Kendall, you go first. Dom, please let him speak. You'll have your turn to speak. OK, last season, every single time I played against this hooligan, he stands on my pinky toe. Every single time, the same damn pinky toe. I can't move it. It won't bend. Well, OK, Dom, is there any reason why? Look, Gaffer, it ain't my fault, all right? When they came to our place at the beginning of the season, he came into our locker room and I was being all nice to him, wishing him a good game and all that, and he came right up and laughed at my Lego collection. Laughed and then kicked him. I spent days making them. <laughs> it was pretty shit, man. Come on. My children could have done better. Don't you start again, man. Don't you dare come between a man and his Legos. I will go for that other pinky next. So I need to sort this now, because that's just stupid. You're grown men for crying out loud. Kendall, don't smash Legos. Dom, leave his pinky toe alone. But boss, my Legos. Dom, if you care about Legos this much, when we win the championship, I will buy you a Lego Death Star pre-made and glued together so no one can break it, okay? Mate, you would really do that? Yes, as long as you bury the hatchet. Kendall, if we win the championship as well, I will pay to have your pinky toe realigned. Good? What? My pinky toe will go back to normal? Yes, your pinky toe will look normal. Alright, but guys, do we have an agreement? That is sick. I would do anything for Legos, boss. Of course. It's in the past now. Good. Now let's not hear any of this again. Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rack is here again and I hope you enjoyed that skit you've just seen. I tried to do something a little bit different for you, try to keep you entertained. First game of the episode, Home Against the San Jose Earthquakes. We've got Manny Barnes to share up top, Disco Morales Cheney in the middle, Harvey Opari, Edgar and Ed across the back and Usted in goal. If we can get him spread, Disco long shot, just wide. Oh, Opari. Too eager there to get in on Innocent. Edgar, good save from Usted. Quintero, ball in. Mane's back, but only heads he down to Innocent. Edge of the box now. Good save from Usted. Turns it around the corner. To share it. Usted's ball. All... What are you doing there, Usti? You should have. Seren. Oh, God. That's a great finish. Usted, you caused that with punching the ball up rather than out. You should have. No, no real challenge there. Should have caught it. Ball comes down to Seren. Fires it. In off the underside of the bar. In off the inside of the post and goes in. 1 0 down. Oh, to Sharon. Sees the run of Barnes. Gets it in. Slips over the tackle. Barnes. Oh, drags it wide. We've got some height in the box now. Ball in front to Sharon. Looking for Cheney. Cheney with the head off the bar. Opara. Manny. Just wide. Oh no! So far, but he's going to make a substitution here, just to uh, ball in towards a part. Edgar! Oh my God! I was controlling Cheney, and then Edgar comes in with that header. That's phenomenal! Boom! Right in front of the keeper. No chance for anybody there. Right underneath the crossbar, he gets flattened, but I don't think he'll care, and I'm going mental. Woohoo! One-one. Ed, it, the right back's found his way all the way through. Ed shoots Bingham. Dwyer with the header. Under pressure. Always going straight at Bingham. Does well. Dwyer, bit of space. Dwyer strikes across. Have you been talking to Hurtado? Do not take striking tips from Hurtado. I've told you. Dwyer holds off his defender. Dwyer shoots straight at Bingham. And then Stewart can clear it for a corner. Near post, why flicks it on? Wayne clears it from Bingham's hands, but it doesn't matter. We've won 1 0. No, sorry, we've drew 1 1. I thought we'd won that. We've drew 1 1. We should have won with the amount of opportunities we had 12 shots to 8, 
12 shots, 8 on target, 3 shots for them. With the draw, it kind of felt like a win. Do I need some finishing bloody practice? Because he just said that he's doing a Hurtado. And I've spent money on him. I didn't have to spend money on Hurtado for him to be shit. Okay, second game of the episode against Sporting Kansas City. And we have two players who are returning to the old club. Ike Apara and Don Dwyer, which is why they are both in our starting lineup. So we're starting with Mane, Dwyer, Teixeira up top. Discaru Morales, Cheney in the middle. Harvey Opara, Edgar Smith and Usted in goal. So this is going to be tasty to see if Opara and Dwyer want to really upset their old employers. Manny cuts inside. Manny bit of space, shoots it. Oh, Manny off the post. Teixeira now into the area, getting tacked and then Melia can just... Dwyer into Discarude again, got some space, mix. Oh, Discarude, what have you done? <laughs> Bit like Barnes in the last game. I'm probably trying too far to go for that far corner now. Corner for Sporting Kansas City now. Let's get it clear, boys. Near post, Diego Ruben flicks it. Oh, Espinosa blocks it. Usted. Edgar does the little blocking and got it down to Usted. Made it a bit more manageable for him. Uh, to Davies. Gets around the outside of Harvey now. Tries to slip it back through to Espinosa. Fires it across Rubio. That was easier to score. Good control build up. Gonna have to cut back, does Harvey, strikes him, Melly is there, Morales, easy finish from the cam, easy finish from the clutch, Master General, and that is 1-0 to Vancouver, I was about to say Whitecaps, 1-0 to Vancouver, Harvey, great shot, and then Morales is not going to have an easier finish than that this season, 1-0, Discarude, great interception, Dwyer on side, return ball for Discarude, Discarude finds some space through, great goal, well worked, oh, don't tell, he's offside, no, well, I the, thought we uh, timed that perfectly. As one, and I think they've caught him offside there. Well, this must Lovely have been return ball. Indeed, but we get oh, advantage. come on, Look ref. That's just his done. knee. No, and, uh, Jeez. It was such a close hey, call, anyway, well worked, guys. discaru has got the, the, pay, the space now. Finishing this time, Discaru. This time he's onside. This time he gets his first goal for Vancouver. This time it's Mix. Discaru. A little bit too hyped. I don't care. We scored a freaking goal. Let me be hyped. Great finish, Discaru. Pass it past the keeper. 2 0. And that's full time. Good victory there. Good three points. And we thoroughly deserved it. Dominated that game. Ten shots to four. Seven on target. 56% possession. Man of the match. Discarude. 8.9. Morales. Honorable mention. 8.6. Yes. Sounders have agreed. 800k Herdado. Third and final game of the episode. Rotating the squad a little bit just for fitness. We've got Manny Barnes, Bolaños up top. Tabor, Misquita, Cheney in the middle. Harvey Opara, Dean Ed at the back with Usted in goal. Oh, Cheney into Misquita now. So not Cheney, Tabor. Strikes it from distance. We know he's got that in his locker. Rob Less with a good save. Misquita, Bolaños. Fires it across goal. Save. Barnes is there. Again, another easy goal. Rob Less spilled it. And Barnes is first to react. 12 minutes gone. 1-0 Vancouver. McCarty, oh good ball down here to Royer. In off the post, Bradley Wright Phillips spans it. That was good play from Red Bulls. He's going to try and whip it in back post, is he? Yes, he is. Usted, please, good punch. Only as far as Kestrin, Royer. Kestrin again, good goal. All come from Discarude's lazy pass in the middle of the park. Now, we're going to have to do well to win this game. Dwyer's chasing him. I don't think he's got the legs on Felipe. Or has he? Dwyer has got the pace on Felipe. Dom Dwyer, breakaway. Stole oh, what are you doing? Ten shots to six. Six on target. 55% possession. We should have won that game. Dwyer gets a 6.7. Miss Guida man the match with an 8.3. Miss Guida played brilliantly, both up and down the park. Let's see what that does to the league table. I'm... If my voice sounds down, it's I'm in shock. And we can end the episode off by saying that Hurtado has officially been sold. Sayonara. See you later. But have we got a new Hurtado in Dom Dwyer? I hope not. Still sitting pretty, oh so pretty at the top of the league table. Played 27, won 13, drawn 8, lost 6. Healthy goal difference of plus 7. And that is an 8 point difference to the Colorado Rapids, Seattle Sounders and LA Galaxy. Thank you so much for watching this video in its entirety. If you've stayed this far and you haven't hit that like button yet, then smash it now. Hit that subscribe button if you're brand new around here. I've been Rackers and I'll see you on the next one. Trap.